Regarding HTML5, we were actually one of the first to have an HTML5-based player, um, was, uh, I think maybe five or six months ago. And uh, since then, we've done a lot. We've actually uh, redesigned our player completely um, from the ground up. So since then, HTML5 has gained a lot more traction in terms of browser support. So it's something we're definitely looking forward to, um, considering the fact that uh, it, it leaves us free to, to stream videos without plugins, and it works uh, right away on platforms like the iPhone and iPad. It's, it's definitely something that, that adds value uh, for us. And plus, of course, the fact that you can interact with the video tag with, uh, with JavaScript directly and with the video object via JavaScript directly, it makes a lot of the things that were much more complicated in terms of action script uh, far easier for us uh, moving forward. How about uh, the integration with advertising networks and that sort of thing with HTML5? Is that as easy as Flash, or where does that stand? It's It's moving along slowly. Um, it's uh, since we launched uh, in-stream, uh, that, that requires uh, a little more work both on our side and, and on the side of our, of our ad server. So it's, uh, it's not something that's, that's ready for prime time, but it's, it's going to be coming down the pipe. In terms of what we're trying to do on the actual product side, one of our, our big pushes is, is for content discovery. Uh, as Luke mentioned, we have a, we've always had a sort of editorial focus, so we have local content managers who, uh, who feature videos on the homepage and then on the channel homepages that cap each of our content silos. And so that means that historically, discovery has either happened in this editorial realm or in search or for a more engaged minority within uh, our group pages. And we found that that is generally not enough to really move eyes to, uh, to, to the more, most interesting and, relative, uh, and relevant videos. So we have a lot of different projects underway uh, for content discovery. Um, we're working on personal recommendations. We're also working on a new class of pages we're calling hubs, which are essentially a way to aggregate videos in an automated or semi-automated way around uh, different topics uh, and entities, people, places, things like that. And uh, since we started developing that, we've noticed that, uh, that, that other players, um, both in and outside of the, uh, the video space, have been doing a similar thing. Facebook pages, for example, is, a, is, a, is another similar approach to really trying to, to gather con disparate types of content around individual themes or topics that, that might not initially be in our, uh, our category structure. What is your approach to serving up related videos? Well, related videos, we've uh, initially we had our own in-house algorithms. Since uh, about a, a year, year and a half, we've been partnering with the UK firm The Filter. And uh, they use a much more robust system that has, has a lot of different ways of approaching uh, uh, relations between videos. They, they use basic semantic information in the tags and in the, in the titles and, and whatnot. But they also use uh, different types of Bayesian analysis. And, and that's when you get into more evidence capture of watch patterns and uh, different social actions, whether it's favoriting or sharing or things like that. And so they, uh, they do a lot of the, the heavy lifting on the back end for, uh, for related videos for us these days. We have had m mobile uploads from the get-go. Uh, we've, we've changed how, how that can, can come up uh, onto the platform um, variously over time. But uh, we, have a, we have a fair amount of UGC still, but one of the, the main strong points of, a, of our content team is, is this Motion Maker program where they go out, they try to find local talent and, and then encourage it as much as they can. And then on the other side, of course, you have uh, our official content, which typically comes in through injectors and, uh, and in a sort of constant steady stream uh, according to whatever sort of uh, partnerships have been brokered uh, on a region by region basis. And tell us about the new player and what sort of you think is great about it. One of the nice things is is that we finally separated the uh, the overlying Chrome from the actual player itself. So for partners, for example, we can offer them all sorts of uh, you know customizability options and uh, and branding options. Uh, from a user point of view, we since we moved to the new player, we've we've put some of our tools inside, so being able to export hotspots, uh, share to Facebook or Twitter uh, from inside the player, it's important to us for, for embed and, and off-site views. So um, those, are, those are two of the big things. And then of course, for us on, on a business point of view, being able to, uh, to handle in-stream advertising, uh, that was one of the, the big steps forward in, in moving to our latest version of the player. We have infiltrated the ministry. You have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. The longer we stay